So we're here in the Dales Museum today um, and I've been looking through a box of these which are beautiful knitting sheets and they were made by people who lived in the Dales during the well, basically for the last 500 years, from 1500s up to the early 19th, uh, 20th century. Um, a lot of industry here was hand knitting. A lot of people made their money through hand knitting and primarily knitting stockings or socks, long, long stockings or jackets or caps. Mainly the stockings in the end though. And they used local wool, but they also used uh, merino wool, which they got from Bradford. Um, so, I'm come to make a fact file about knitting sheets. So I've got a couple here out of this box, which I'm going to draw and I'm going to make myself a poster basically about knitting sheets. I've got some information in my book and I'm going to read you a bit of that later. Um, and I've got some art materials here which I'm going to use to make something that looks really nice with lots of information about these knitting sheets. I'm going to get on with doing some lettering here. I've made it say Yorkshire Knitting Sheets in pencil. So I'm going to go over that with pen first of all and I've got a little fine liner to do that with. Okay. So. And I'll leave that to dry a bit because pen and ink just take a little while to dry. And what I'm going to do with those is I'm going to cut them out and I'm going to make my poster on here. So now I'm going to do some drawings directly onto the paper. So when you're drawing an object like this, you're trying to always look and look at the object and look at your drawing and trying to get a good feel for what's in front of you. And what's lovely about these is they've got so much of their craftsmen in them. They're all different because they're handmade. And I actually did, did read in the book that there are some that are machine made, but mainly they're handmade. So they're unique. And so when you're making your drawing, it's nice to bear that in mind. What you're making is something handmade and unique as well. So I've got this copy of the old hand knitters of the Dales by Marie Hartley and Joan Ingleby who collected all of this stuff for this museum. Um, so I've just been looking at some of the sheaths and now I want to read you a little bit because the most famous Dale for knitting was Dent Dale which is just down the road from Wensleydale and it, it's really particularly famous because a man called Adam Sedgwick came from there and he wrote a lot about the history of the Dales and the history of Dent in particularly. So there's just a really lovely little bit in here which I thought was fantastic about the knitters. So he says, while speaking of the habits and manners of my country women, I may remark that their industry had then a social character. Their machinery and the material of their fabrics they constantly bore about with them. Hence the knitters of Dent had the reputation of being lively gossips and they worked together in little clusters, not in din and confinement like that of a modern manufactory, but each one following the leading of her fancy, whether among her friends or rambling in the sweet scenery of the valley. And they were as notable for their thrifty skill as for their industry. And their social habits led them to form little groups of family parties who assembled together in rotation round one blazing fire during the winter evenings. This was called ganging a sitting to a neighbour's house. And I love that, I love the way that the knitting was a really social thing. And if you can see the picture on the front of this book, you can see that men and women are doing it, children too. The whole family was involved and it involved a lot of uh, tale telling and joke telling. And also I like the bit about wandering about in the dales in the nice sunny weather, it's so nice.
So that is a fact file. So we've got various bits of information that is interesting to me personally about these knitting sheaths and I've chosen three knitting sheaths to draw that I thought were really beautiful. Um, so now I've got a record of my visit to the museum and the things I was particularly interested in.